Okay, boys and girls, now that we have built our figure with our shapes, you've done at least two, so front and back, and they each have a different pose, you're going to start something now called figure drawing. So you're gonna put this away on the drying rack with your name on the bottom, and then you're going to try and draw some figures in different poses using the shapes that we learned about. Um, you can add some details to your figures if you finish putting all the body parts together, kind of like how I did here. So what you'll need is a pencil, a white piece of paper to draw on, and this worksheet right here that has some different figures doing different types of poses. So I want you to try and pick at least four of these or four of these and try and put the shapes together that we learned about to make some figure poses. So if I'm looking at this worksheet here and I see one of my figures doing something like running, I'm gonna start with my pencil and draw the shapes that we practiced. So remember, you start with the body and the head. So I can start with my rectangle, connect the head to the rectangle, and then I'm looking at this pose right here that shows somebody who looks like they're running. So I'm gonna look at how the rectangles are going over, down, over, up, and try and copy those rectangles I see. So I'll start here. Looks like there's a rectangle going out and then up, connected together. And there's are two rectangles over here going out and down, connected together. Then on the ends, I see the hands then on the bottom, I'm looking at the legs. It looks like one leg goes out like this, and then one leg part goes down like this. Two rectangles put together, and the foot. Then one rectangle goes out like this. Looking at this guy, one rectangle goes out like this, connected together, and then the foot comes down like this. So I finished my first pose here. I can add some details if I like, or I can move on to my second one. So you will finish four poses in the end. Now, if it helps you, boys and girls, you can take your markers and do this a different way. You could, instead of drawing with your pencil the shapes, you could start with the colors that we practiced together, the red, yellow, blue, and green, and draw your figure that way. So I could start with the body, so I know that's a red rectangle. I could color that in. Then I could go on top with the head. Remember, that was a blue circle. Then I could take my green and start to draw the arms. So I know there's a green rectangle coming out like this, and then up like this, and then over like this, and down like this. The legs are going out like this, two parts, and then down like this. And then finally, we have a yellow square for the arm, for the hands, and the feet. So I can just connect those to the green. So two different ways that you can do this. And then obviously at the end, if you finish early, what I want you to do is add some color or some details. Put a face, put some details on the shirts. You could even take your pencil and make these little movement lines. So when a figure is moving in art class, we can put some little lines around them to show that they're moving back and forth. These are called movement lines. So you can try that as well. All right, so we're gonna finish our shape, people. Two poses. Then we are going to start our figure drawing with our pencil, our white paper, and our little idea sheet here.